Come on, let's go the second mile. What does that even mean? Is it about encouraging others or challenging people to go above and beyond? Is it about raising the standard? Is it about serving like Jesus did? I believe it's all of the above. In a world where people are doing the bare minimum just to get by, I feel that Jesus is calling his children to go the second mile. Today I want to talk about see the change. In Galatians 1.24, Paul is saying they glorified God in me. And what he was talking about was his life had had such a radical change. Previously, he was Saul. He was persecuting the church. He was obsessed with killing Christians and stopping the work of the Christian movement. And then this transformation happens. He experiences God. He has an encounter with Jesus. And his life so changes. And his passion becomes all about preaching the gospel and faith in Jesus. And so this verse comes from that. And another version actually says, because of the great transformation in my life, people were praising God even more. Wow. So my question is, can people see the change? Can people see Jesus in you? If you didn't tell them, would they know something's different? If not, then what's blocking God in your life? Because it's not just enough that people know that you're a good person. It's about going that second mile and change in your life that brings glory to God. Paul said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. If people were to imitate you today, would they be more like Jesus? So I want to challenge us today as we go the second mile. Let's live a life that's so much like Jesus that if people imitate us, they'll also be more like him and that the change would be so evident in our life that people would give glory to God.